Hi folks, so this is going to be an example of how you can use weightings in front office your year weightings to derive any mark you want to for any particular purpose. In this particular case, um, we have a school that um, has once for their speech day um, the June exam mark and the trials exam mark uh, entered into columns RD5 and 6 respectively. Um, to count uh, one part to three and two parts to three. In other words, the June exam mark to count 33% and the trials exam mark to count 66%. Um, 66.6 recurring and 33.3 recurring uh, res uh, respectively. So uh, the simple way to do this in this particular case is for, is this for grade 12s. If we go to weightings, and we simply add a weight, a new weighting here, where we put a um, a one in here and a two in here because we're dealing with columns five and six, RD five and six. So let's just weight everything else zero. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our grade 12 set classes and simply change the weighting for all of those classes to the one that we just entered. I can copy that and paste it all the way down. There is a way to do it using Excel. You have to be a little bit careful about how you set it up there because of the dashes between each number, but it can be done so that you could copy and paste all the way down in one shot. Right, now that you have set your year weightings for those subjects, the beauty here is that you can simply go to any report in front office that deals with the year. So it's actually more accurate to call it year to date, which is why, for example, these RDs are called RD, which is for a specific column. If you want to report on a specific column and year to date, which is if you want to report on a combination of the columns, which we've just done in, and we've just told the system which what combination of columns and in what weighting we want to do that in the year weighting section. So again, if I um, go to grade 12, let's say, um, what we want to do is if you want to see an overall average, you would run the year, uh, you don't have to, to pick an RD in this case because you're running the year to date one. We're not really concerned with averages at this particular point. We're concerned more with um, positions for a particular subject. Uh, do the year one. Okay, it's actually telling you which columns it's using here, highlighting them in gray, one and two. And it's giving you the combination mark for those two. You can do that for any subject. Uh, in the particular grade that we've done this for. You can, of course, even go as far as printing uh, fail lists. So you can see, based on what you have done, how the learners have performed with regards to um, actually passing and failing um, that particular result that you, you're calculating. And you could even go as far as generating schedules for the end of the year. Which would give you your combination results um, for those particular subjects. In this particular case, we have uh, a number of uh, marks that haven't been captured yet but by doing it that way and instead of exporting the marks to excel and doing a whole separate calculation by doing it this way you enable all the features and functions that come with evaluation of marks all the reporting tools etc in front office 
um, to do the work for you. And you can even, in theory, go and print an end-of-year report card for a learner because at the end of the day, that end-of-year report card actually looks for the year-to-date mark that you would have um, calculated. So in this particular case, these pupil marks here are following that exact combination that we have uh, told the system to follow. In other words, a year-to-date mark, um, which is exactly in the same way how you generate your final year mark. Right, that concludes this tutorial.